Back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. As I just said before the break, I'm over here at Clark Regional Medical Centre with Dr Reynolds, and we're talking about colon cancer. Right. And where I'm at in my life, considering my father is dying of colon cancer, I wanted to ask you, which I think is really important, is what are the signs that I may have, or symptoms that I may have, that I should be checking at home? Sure, I think you know there are a lot of things that you have to take very seriously. Um, one of the bad things about colon cancer and many forms of cancer is there are not a lot of symptoms. But okay. things that you might want to be aware of, um, you know, a sudden change in your bowel pattern, diarrhea, and especially bleeding uh, from your bottom. That is certainly something we have to take very seriously. Okay, all right. So I don't have any of those symptoms that I'm aware of. Maybe I should start checking as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I haven't thought to check those right, things. Right, right. Uh, usually, uh, again, uh, bleeding is the thing we worry about the most, and that's okay. not very glamorous for sure, but, uh, you know, when that happens, uh, that really keys us to say that, you know, we really need to get this checked out. Okay, all right. So, we're definitely having the colonoscopy because right. I am at a high risk. What's the process? Talk me through, I believe there's a drink that I drink, or yes, I have to prepare yes. the body. Everyone's Talk favorite part. Talk to me through that. So uh, in order to prepare for a colonoscopy, your colon or the large bowel has to be clean. So uh, you do drink a, a laxative top drink that flushes the stool from your colon. When? Uh, we typically do that the day and the night before. So I know what I have to do before the day. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm on the day. Right. What does the procedure look like and what are you looking for? Okay, good question, Troy. So on the day of your colonoscopy, you're going to come in uh, to the outpatient surgery center and you'll get an IV in your arm and medicine will help you go to sleep. So there's no pain involved. It does not hurt. It's not uncomfortable and you don't remember any of it. What we do with the colonoscopy is we're looking at the colon or the large bowel as you see here. So I can outline that for you. The scope examines all of the colon. We go all the way around to the very end and then we slowly withdraw the scope to look for polyps or precancerous lesions or frank cancer which you can see right here. So the nice thing about colonoscopy it is a preventative measure. Um, there are certain tests that detect colon cancer but colonoscopy can also detect precancerous lesions. So we might have a full-blown cancer here but if screening is done properly often we can find the cancer at a stage such as this to where it's just precancerous or a polyp and that can be easily removed on the day of your examination. So, and there is very little risk in doing that. So the important thing to know is that uh, follow the screening guidelines. Uh, listen to your body, listen for symptoms. Uh, remember that if you have a family member with colon cancer that you are at higher risk and you should take this very seriously. And if you have any other questions you can call our office and we'd be glad to answer them. That all looks very well Dr. Reynolds, but I want to ask you, what happens after the process? I've, I've had the operation, mm -hmm. then what? What happens if you find some polyps? Sure. Um, so after your colonoscopy, we give you some time to wake up. If we found polyps or just small precancerous lesions, then there's nothing to worry about. We have removed them at that point. Okay. If there is something more worrisome like a cancer, then the day of the operation, we'll set up CT scans to make sure the cancer is not anywhere else. And we'll make a referral to a surgeon who can remove the cancer. The good thing is, is that if it is detected at an early stage, it is very uh, curable. Uh, sometimes surgery itself is curative without chemotherapy or radiation. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. All right. So what happens if I have the all clear? Then what? So with your family history, Troy, it'll be every five years that you should have a colonoscopy. Okay. However, if a normal person without family history is completely clear, they can wait up to 10 years. Really? That's mm -hmm. that long? Yes. Wow. Well, Dr. Reynolds, um, I appreciate the insight. I know I have to have the colonoscopy and that's something we're going to be doing. So mm -hmm. if you want to find out more information about Dr. Reynolds and maybe you're at risk, you need to come over and see Dr. Reynolds at Clark Regional Medical Center, everyone. It is the thing to do. It's Colon Cancer Awareness Month. It's a difficult topic to have that conversation about, mm -hmm. but all the information's up on the screen. We'll be right back after this short break, everyone. <laughs>